Hello everyone, welcome to yet another important video on Tableau interview questions. In this video, we are going to discuss about project related questions specifically. So over the weekend, I did a little survey among our uh, subscribers and all of those who are trying to attend interviews uh, to understand what are the problems they are facing. So this is something that has come up. So technically, we guys are doing well, we guys are uh, answering majority of the questions but when it is coming to the questions based on project many of us are you know uh, like becoming uh, numb or staying paused in the interview or which is giving us some negative remarks in the interview so in this video we are trying to solve that problem so all those uh, who are attending interviews I request or encourage to watch this video so that we can find answers to such questions and be prepared. So stay tuned and watch. Let us get started. So to start off, one of the most common and mandatory question that is being asked in every interview. So irrespective of what your level of experience is, what is your role, doesn't matter the first question that everyone faces is explain yourself your roles and responsibilities so sometimes a recruiter might ask you to limit your explain yourself question or sometimes he'll simply tell just explain yourself so in both the questions we have to answer the same thing but only if is clearly telling that okay keep it short and simple in that case we have to focus only on what are the important things that you have done otherwise we can tell that you know uh, select what is the total uh, years of experience we have got so like say i will tell i am rahul power with like say x years of experience okay and i am currently working for xx company as tableau developer this is the first statement we can give okay so you can also add here like i am a certified desktop specialist or any uh, certifications that you have done you can add it here okay so now next what we can do is uh, my day-to-day -day activities or you can do my day-to-day -day activities or my role requires me to connect to client and get the requirements for from him comma develop the reports do testing or and prepare test case documents comma migrate reports to the or to different environment environments along with that if at all you can add some server related points you can also do that as well so that is definitely going to give you some extra marks like you can tell i have uh, added uh, i have uh, taken care of reports in server as well and i make sure that reports in server are running fine without any issues or have scheduled reports or i have added users and given them permission to the report so if at all you are adding at least this kind of 
points related to server then your introduction is very perfect so what are we doing here we are clearly telling what have we done how many years of experience we have and what are our day-to-day -day activities and in that what are the different things that we have done like you know we have developed reports we have done some testing we have prepared test case documents we have migrated our reports as well so all the tasks of developers are completed now we are also telling him that i have exposure over server as well so now here the interviewer will be very interested in okay this guy is actually a tableau developer but has got uh, an uh, hands on on server as well so he will think of you know uh, considering you for the role now next is how do you get the requirement very common question and frequently asked question in requirement so here we can tell if at all you are going for a junior role you can tell that okay i get the requirements from lead or you can tell that okay uh, i get if you are going for an independent role then you can it can be i get requirements uh, from client okay and they share it over so some here we need to understand like you know we cannot simply state this in a uh, single line like i get requirement from client you know it is not like this so sometimes requirement can be very very sorted like you know you get uh, so i'm writing it here to make it clear so we get requirements uh, in a ppt format ppt format so client will clearly share us the that ppt format seeing that we have to create our reports or in some cases the client might share uh, client might share a word doc where all the all the information is written like which table to be considered okay what are the uh, expected columns or what are the ta tar target columns people what are the uh, target columns so all of these kind of things are mentioned in that document okay so seeing that we design our dashboard it is not that you know it is not my wish or it is not your wish that we are adding some columns to our dashboard it is we will add only what client wants to see in the dashboard so this point you need to understand so now what did we answer how do you get the requirement so if you are going for a you know junior level you can simply you know skip the question by telling that okay uh, no, I get my lead assigns me some tasks and I, I make sure I complete them in the time given. Like say, my lead assigns uh, me tasks that I need to complete in the given time limit. So if there are any issues in the call. So now once the tasks are assigned every day or weekly based on project requirement, there will be certain calls scheduled. Like it can be alternate days or it can be weekly twice. It depends. So whatever is there. But bottom line is we will be having calls. So you need to also mention that you will be having calls regularly so in this calls we will be discussing progress on the dashboard that we have made suppose if you are not getting any logic you are not understanding how to create a functionality you are not understanding how to which columns to take then the, you can or we can discuss that in this calls and get a clarification okay or else the other approach is we can always always and always write emails to the customer or to the lead with the doubt that we have and the clarification that we want that we can always do suppose if you don't want to wait until 
the call is there suppose you know you, you have doubt uh, you have got the doubt today but call is on uh, friday assume that so there is a lot of time for that so you don't want to wait till then so either you can you know maybe ping her and find out what is that she is expecting or you can write an email to her stating that you know i have this doubt how can you do or uh, something like that so based on that they will answer email and you can proceed with the request that you have okay so i um, i hope this we are clear with this second question which is very important now in whatever way the question get you can try to cover from this okay so next question here is how do you prepare test cases one very important activity that we all should be aware of okay whoever is going for a tableau role or whoever is going for a developer role we all should be aware of how a test case document is prepared or how a testing is done so i have already created one video on how to test uh, reports maybe you can go and watch that i'll paste the link in the description box okay and so just to simplify here what we need to do is two things we will do one write sequels to get the data and match it match it with dashboard dashboard values okay so as an example i'm going to take a small example here okay so without wasting much time i'm going to take only one example so i'm just taking uh, order date and dropping it here on row shelf and simply i'm taking sum of sales and dropping it here on uh, just label now for 2021 i have got sales of 7 lakh 33 now how am i going to test that here so i am going to my data source and i am going to write select order year of order date example okay year of order underscore date okay comma so i'm going to write sum of sales okay from what is a table name our table name is sample superstore okay group by year of order date okay so this is one thing comma suppose if i need only this thing where year of order underscore date is equal to 2021 so something like this we will write okay so like this for each use case you have to write one sql query and you have to match it against your report so one so now once this is matching 733 here and if you at all after firing the query you are getting the same result then your one test case is passed okay the same concept you can explain here in the first point first point also in your roles and responsibilities suppose if he has how do you prepare test case documents from here you can definitely tell that you write the sequels to compare the data or match the values against your dashboard and verify them so once if the, if you find any issues here you have to fix your dashboard you have to identify where there is a miss whether you have done something wrong or you know it is something wrong at the database you have to identify and fix that so then only you can send it to next level for testing okay so by testing all of that use case so not only data so we have to test uh, like say here data validation we have to do so remember this is data validation or uh, label validation we have to do title validation color validation so all of this you have to do on the dashboard so like when i say data validation so you are validating if your data is correct or not then here this test case passed so label means like is the if are there any uh, not typo errors 
or you know the name of the dashboard is correct or not so all of that you have to validate in this label okay so in this label tool tips will also come so you have to validate tool tips are also correct or not we get specific requirement what we want suppose if i go here if i put my cursor here i am getting year of order date on the tool tip but the client tells that okay i don't want year of order date but instead of that i want only order date now that is one change that we have to go so i'll go to tool tip here i'll change it change this to order date okay now this is fixed okay but that is one test case that we have done so all of that you have to do under label validation and title validation and then it is color validation like say here i'm creating a bar chart here now client says okay i don't want blue color or there is some specific color requirement and all so is it matching or not so that check also you have to do so once that is done your test case is passed so like that you have to validate for all of them very important concept okay of preparing a test case document so no one uh, will tell this much detail but it is very important for us to understand so the more detail you do the better it is for you for yourself okay so but because in development environment 100 errors you do no one will ask but in production environment even if you do one small error even if it is a typo errors 100 questions will come up what did you do why did you do where did you test how did you test why did you ignore so if you want to ignore all of those unwanted questions you can test at the development stage okay so this is one thing next important question is what is etl so etl is nothing but it is like a uh, simple if i say extraction transformation and loading okay so generally when we are connecting to some table so like say here we might get one contradictory question like where do you get data from so what do we what do we answer in the uh, in general we say okay we will get data from a uh, tables simple say now next he will ask like how do you get data how do you get data in that tables so to get that data in that final tables so there is an architecture behind that because the, the data that we are getting from business is raw data okay so on top of this raw data some business logics are applied okay and after applying they are being stored or moved to some final tables so this final tables will become our source tables for tableau it is in simpler words this is how it works so bring your raw data which has all your required data and unrequired data and all so during business logic or transformation stage business logics are applied unwanted data is removed data is filtered like say here i'll say data cleansing okay all of that happens here now once everything is fine they move it to final tables now this final tables which is in ready format we will go and connect it to this table and use it here okay so that is how we can answer this question which is a very important and what else is important is here how do we get data as so if at all you are getting questions related to this maybe you can answer it using this okay so next important question or maybe like very uh, common question again are you involved in database activities how do you get queries here so here interviewer is interested in knowing whether you write queries or how do you do so based on your sql expertise you can answer this question okay so i'll keep this open <laughs> so if you have learned sql in depth you can tell that okay we write uh, our own sql queries based on uh, the requirement we get from the business or else you can tell that we get our optimized queries 
from database team okay who are called as database administration or db team you can tell okay so they help you in giving the queries but you can also tell that okay we get our initial query from the db team later on we modify according to our business business need upon testing so like this also you can answer so here what is important is we you need to tell or we need to tell that we have at least some exposure over sql so either you can answer directly like this or you can tell about how you do testing okay so are you involved in database activities no we are developers most of the most of the time we will be involved in developing development activities but db activities very rare unless and until you have some data issues we go back and connect it to a uh, database team so you can also add this point so you can tell that uh, if uh, if we are having any data issues we go back to db team to check the data so until and unless we don't reach out to them so that is how you can explain this question again you have to be very confident when you are answering this type of questions why because these are like purely project based questions okay so here he will just try to see how you have worked day in and day out on this different platforms okay so how are stories assigned next important questions so in any project or in any company they might be using some uh, tools to you know track all of this so it can be like say jira jira is one platform where we can work and assign activities so jira story so in this a story will be created and assigned to you or your work can be only through emails it can be anything it need not be uh, always as standard as creating you know tickets and assigning it to you or it can suppose if it is a development project okay so they'll create one story and that's it so it will be on for five six months and just you have to uh, you know keep up the working and updating that that's it so like that so let me show you how uh jira looks like so i'm just oh jira software i'm just searching just to show you how it looks like so if i scroll down let us see if i have any relevant messages here at least if there are any images i can show you let me see so this is how it looks you see yeah he is creating for which project so you see to do how many are there i know the name of the ticket the ticket number and you know what is the priority and all, all of that will be assigned here so how many are to do how many are in progress how many are in review stage and how many of you are completed you see once it is done complete sprint so all of that we can do here track we can also track like what is the activity you know everything can be tracked here report can be used so this is for mostly for like for scrum but this is what is important for us like how we create and all so just a view how it looks like okay so i hope you got some you know idea on how uh, this is called as basically jira board or ticketing tool anything that is assigned to you it will be shown against your name and this is your ticket number so in every day's call you have to tell what all you have done for each of these tickets suppose you know for rahul there are three tickets here so what i have done on these three tickets you have to update the progress in the daily call so that is how it works here so you can answer that question based on this okay so next is what will you do when you do not have a proper design for dashboard making again this is a very important learning step for everyone who is trying to create a dashboard so here let's say i would say taj mahal was not built in a day right it took so many you know so many days and so many man hours to build that beautiful palace similarly 
a dashboard is not built in a day so what happens is so client will just give you his expectation or his requirement that i rahul i want this i want this or i want this functionality i want uh, this filters and uh, i want some like say roughly some do line chart or or donut chart kind of things so some 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 vague charts he will try to tell so based on that you have to create or you have to come up with some first version of your dashboard so here when you are showing the first version of dashboard what we need to do is you need to mainly focus on the functionality that client is expecting okay so once that is done you will show the dashboard now after seeing that dashboard or your layout uh, design he will come up with some optimization or he is changing layout like that there will be a number of iterations okay after that that dashboard will be finalized so i'll say v v is version 1 2 3 4 5 6 so like how many number of weeks every week like you will be attending call in that week you will be showing you know the changes that you have done to your dashboard and then after everything like you know uh, finalized like once client comes onto the same page and you are on the same page that like, you know report is fine that is when they he will say okay and that is when it goes for testing and after that again same process testing and uh, qa testing and then it will move to uh, different environments and then to production okay so what is important here to learn is you, we cannot expect that our dashboard is ready on day 1 or in the first version of our uh, review so we have to meet with the client a number of times discuss or you have to present your dashboard why you have created this or what are you trying to show on this dashboard how is your interactivity on that dashboard or uh, no what kind of filters you have added on that dashboard all of that you have to explain that in them in the call so once he is fine okay he will say okay rahul i'm good with that and then you can proceed further by testing it and moving it to different environments okay so what level of server activities you are part of so this is like a bonus question i would say instead of uh, directly telling that you know no i do not have any you know exposure on server you can tell that you know i um, maintain reports in the server or i schedule reports in the server if there are any failures of report i fix them and adding users this we know adding users and creating groups comma giving access these are the these are some of the roles that i am part of server these are like very basic so if at all you want to know how we can do all of this again there is a tutorial by me in our youtube channel you can definitely go and watch them and you know prepare yourself for the interview okay i'll i'll post the link of this as well in the uh, description box okay so next is how will you give estimate okay so this is like very advanced question if at all you know you have ever been part of such you can tell them otherwise you can tell that uh, no i uh, never uh, got an opportunity uh, for this mostly uh, my leads or they take they took care of this activities but given a chance we can try to i can try to give estimate 
by the level of complexity of the report or so this kind you can answer or we can tell him that okay based on number of worksheets expected in the dashboard in the report sorry and uh, number of dashboards expected in the report so based on that we can i can we can definitely try to give a rough estimate like this you can give so what are the points you need to consider while giving an estimate you have to consider the time taken for development consider the time for testing consider the time for migration all of these activities you have to consider based on that add some extra hours like say extra uh, 10 or like say five some some uh, n hours to your actual thing and then you can give an estimate so that if there are any hiccups to your uh, during your project phase or during your testing phase or your during your migration phase that can be covered in this n hours so again may the main intention is to give the deliverables in the time that you are committing here so that's why always give some extra timeline here if you give early you will always get appreciation but if you get delay everyone will question why did you why did you can't do why did you you know take so much of time so that's why make sure you give proper uh timelines here whenever you get the question here and you can consider this important points so while giving the estimate next important is explain your current project again this is very important question so mostly like you know some of the interviewers will directly ask you to explain your current project i think we all are ready with this answer so i'm assuming we all know how to answer our current project again what we can focus here is what is our role here what kind of uh, uh, project we are working okay who is our client okay so what was the problem uh, our client was facing and what is the solution we are offering so if you don't know then maybe you can think from these lines and you can prepare your answer okay and what are the solution we are offering after this you can tell what are the charts that you have created in that uh, dashboard and how many dashboards dashboards you had in that report here so this kind of things you can include and what kind of logics or calculations you have used in the report so this kind of questions or this kind of things you need to remember when you are answering about your current project very important thing at least this question you need to be definitely perfect be perfect in the answer okay so next important question is what are the different types of dashboards that you have created again this is very important suppose if you are adding multiple projects in your resume then you can add like different types of projects like say i would say scorecard dashboard so maybe you can you know, search in google uh, you'll get some sample images scorecard dashboard so it is more about numbers okay and then it is like say uh hr or drill down dashboard is there Vis visualization dashboard anything like you know just just name few of them like you know i've created few scare scorecard dashboards kpa dashboards like that so just to give drill down means like going from one summary to detail level so what have you done in that project like that so so you have to name them and explain what it means to you because you know i might call score scorecard something else you know for scorecard might be something else for you drill down is something for me but drill down might be something for you so you need to explain what type of dashboard you are creating so in that case 
at least be prepared with this answer different types of dashboards maybe you can get answer from google search for different dashboard images and keep them ready and whenever you get this question you can definitely answer okay how many reports have you created one very important question here again okay so very 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 important question do not forget this how many reports have you created so again when i say one report one report can have so let's say uh, minimum i'm taking two to three dashboards okay so one dashboard can have again uh, i'm taking four to five minimum worksheets so that will make like say five into three 15 worksheets in one report okay so like that how many reports are we going to add so i would say like say if you are having uh three years of experience here so definitely you can tell them will we can do three into two okay so six plus one you can definitely tell that you have created at least seven reports okay so in for some of the dashboards you can add more worksheets and some of them you can minimize and you can address them again there is no perfect number in that but i know the more uh, number you add the better it is it will give an assumption that you have created so many dashboards or so many worksheets like that okay so based on your comfort level you can answer this but have at least a good number so that he feels that you have worked on many dashboards okay so what is your team size again very uh generic question yet important if at all you are going for a junior role you can tell that you know i have worked on uh, multiple projects in some project i had a team of four members in some project i had two members and in some project i was only one developer who was working so you can give like a common answer like this so which will give an interview that you can you can work together in a team you can also single handedly take care of all the activities okay so if you are very confident enough you can also include this point and tell that okay I have worked on only one project. Uh, I have single-handedly taken care of all the activities from scratch, like from taking a requirement to developing reports to testing reports to migrating reports. So all of that you have taken care. So you can also definitely add this. Again, it will like definitely give you some extra points. Okay. So how, who does migration again? So you can always tell that, you know, uh, I have done migration. Most, most of the cases, developer will only do migration. Only in very rare cases, you know, some other party or if, um, different team members do migration. But most of the cases, developer does migration. So you can tell that you have taken care of migration and all. So what is the com complex thing that you have done till now? Again, one common question that is being asked till now so for this you can you know have a predefined answer always okay so wherever you go in every interview where you can tell them even if he doesn't ask you you can tell them so kind of one functionality like sheet shopping is there or some date level calculation that you have created so that kind of activity you can think of and you can answer and you can tell them you know that i have done so and so thing in my project which was very useful to the client and all so you can just uh, tell them like that so what is your best and worst project so in whatever the projects that you have those are the two questions or the two projects that we have and based on your you know so mostly here what i suggest is your initial project you can call it as your worst and the latest as best because initial project is your first project. There was a lot of learning for, for you and you have learned and the latest is best because you have implemented all the best possibilities recommended by Tableau. So that way you can justify why your first project is worst and the you know, latest is best. You can also tell that I have followed the best recommended colors suggested by Tableau or calculations that are suggested by Tableau and all. So like that, or you have used best practices to improve the performance and all. All of that you can include in the 
best uh, your best project okay so initial project you you do not know you are learning in the learning stage so you you just used everything randomly like that okay so i hope this video helps you in answering you know this theoretical type questions or project related question if you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe have a good day bye bye